Hello children, today we are going to finish our story. So we've built it up every day, haven't we? We talked about what Chris was like when he was young and how he finally slept in his bed and then he went to his neighbour's house to watch the moon landing and right at the end of the story we find out that he became an astronaut. So this is the sentence starter I've chosen for today, many years later. But you might want to choose something like when Chris was older or when Chris became an adult. It's up to you. So have a little think about your sentence starter and say it out loud. Got one? Good. Okay. I'm going to say many years later, Chris's dreams came true. Will you help me write it? So do we need a capital letter for Chris? Yes, we do, because it's his name. So make sure your k comes right up to that top branch. Chris's. Now, because the dreams belong to Chris, we need an apostrophe. And normally, we would put another S as well when it belongs to somebody, but we don't have to when we've got an S here. Many years later, Chris's dreams, d -r, and it's E couple of T, came, do you know which A it is? A split E came true. T -r -u. Many years later, Chris's dream, dreams came too. Why? What did he become? He became an astronaut, didn't he? He became an astronaut. And what do astronauts do? They go into space, don't they? He became an astronaut and... Now, I think I've already used zoomed and whizzed in my story, so I'm going to use rocketed and rocketed to space. Full stop. Many years later, Chris's dreams came true. He became an astronaut and rocketed to space. Was he afraid of the dark anymore? No. Maybe we could add that in. He was no longer afraid of the dark. In fact, he actually really liked it, didn't he? We'll just go back and have a little look. Let's go this way. He actually said that he wasn't afraid of the dark anymore. He wanted to explore every corner of the night sky. He liked the power and the mystery and the velvety black beauty. Oh, I like all of those words. I wonder if we can magpie some of those words. He became an astronaut and rocketed to, rocketed to space. Um, he was no longer afraid of... Chris was no longer afraid of the dark. Was no longer... Of the dark. What did he want to do? He wanted to explore it, didn't he? Yes. In fact, he wanted to explore its beauty, let's say that. There we go. We'll stop. Right, let me read that now. Chris was no longer afraid of the dark. In fact, he wanted to explore its beauty. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, so you need to decide what to write now. So make sure you've got your first bit about his dreams coming true and then something about him not being afraid of the dark anymore. Okay, I wonder if you can get some of those lovely words in. Power, mystery, velvety black beauty. Those are lovely, aren't they? See if you can get one of those words in as well. Fantastic. Good luck, year one. 